We are currently producing 3,400 liters per day. Our dairy platform spans 40 hectares dedicated to milk production. Currently, we have a stocking density of five cows per hectare, yielding productivity of around 30,000 to 32,000 liters per hectare per year. Here at Empedrado, we are milking between 200 and 205 cows daily, including approximately 180 Girolando cows and 20 to 25 gear cows. Here, we are entering one of the production paddocks. It's close to 10.30 a.m., and the heat is already intense, so the cows are seeking the shade we've provided for them. At this farm, we primarily use two types of forage grasses, panicum, commonly referred to as mombasa grass and now classified as megathursus maximus, and cynodon, known as star grass. These are the two forages we grow here. We currently stock five cows per hectare with an annual productivity of approximately 30,000 to 32,000 liters of milk per hectare. For a grazing-based model, this is exceptional productivity. Producing milk through grazing is significantly cheaper than in confined systems like freestall or TMR, total mixed ration systems. We maximize the use of pasture, our most economical resource, and complement it with strategic concentrate supplementation to optimize our cow's potential. Let's move closer to the paddock where the cows are grazing. This specific paddock has Mombasa grass. Coincidentally, we are currently in late October to early November, a period when grasses go to seed due to the slightly longer daylight hours, which is about half an hour more than usual. This causes the grass to flower and produce seeds. As you can see, we maintain excellent residual heights of 30 to 35 centimeters for this grass species. The cows in this paddock have been grazing since 6 a.m. and have consumed the forage allocated to them. For this high production group of 70 cows, the average milk yield is 24 liters per day, and we provide a forage allowance of 17 kilograms of dry matter per cow per day from pasture. Our goal for this high production group is to maintain their average of 24 liters per day. They consume approximately 7.5 kilograms of grain per cow daily. Our priority is always ensuring the forage base, providing sufficient kilograms of pasture for the cows. If we face challenges such as a temporary dip in forage production despite having irrigation, or if growth rates fall short of our needs, we supplement with additional feed to address the deficit. This approach ensures the cows receive adequate nutrition during critical periods of the year. On average, the farm produces 24 tons of dry matter per hectare annually. Some paddocks even reach peak productions of 30 to 32 tons of dry matter per hectare, which underscores the success of this grazing model. We manage grazing in strips using an electric fence, visible as the blue cord in the paddock. Every 12 hours after milking, the cows are moved to a fresh pasture strip. After grazing for 12 hours, a new strip is open for the next cycle. To determine the size of the paddocks, the rotation length, and forage growth rates, we conduct weekly pasture walks. During these walks, we measure the dry matter availability per hectare in each paddock. This data is tabulated and analyzed using an app developed with our colleague Gonzalo Tuño from Argentina. The app helps us interpret the data and provides critical insights. The weekly pasture walk results reveal growth rates expressed as kilograms of dry matter per hectare per day, showing how quickly the grass is growing. Forage inventory, the total pasture available on the farm at the time of measurement. These insights allow us to make informed decisions regarding rotation lengths, supplementation needs, and the area allocated to the cows. This ensures proper nutrition and forage availability for our herd. This is how we manage grazing, pastures, and the integration of our cows with the paddocks, ensuring the success of our pastoral system. 
Here are the empedrado. We are currently milking 200 to 205 cows, consisting of about 180 Girolando F1 cows, a cross between Gear and Holstein, and 20 to 25 purebred Gear cows. Our daily production is 3,400 liters of milk, supported by a 40 hectare dairy platform. This corresponds to a stocking density of five cows per hectare and an annual productivity of 30,000 to 32,000 liters of milk per hectare. We operate under a grazing-based model with grain supplementation during milking. Currently, our milk quality shows 3.9 to 4% fat and 3.2 to 3.3% protein. When analyzing the Gur cows separately, they show slightly higher fat and protein content. The F1 Girolandos inherit these excellent milk composition traits from the gear. Most of our F1 Girolando cows are obtained through in vitro fertilization. Since 1991, we focused on genetic improvement of the gear breed. Ours is a family business spanning three generations, from my grandfather to my father, and now myself as I collaborate with him. In addition to dairy production, we also run a nutrition company that provides technical support to farmers. We produce mineralized salts, vitamin and mineral premixes, and feed additives catering to the needs of the feed industry and balanced feed plants. In its early years, under my grandfather's management, the farm was focused on beef production. We raised Brahmin cattle, breeding Brahmin cows, and finishing the calves on the farm. This was the first livestock activity on the property. In 1984, my father began a small dairy project. The farm's initial production was just 34 liters per day, managed with minimal technology. By 1988, we were introduced to the gear breed through artificial insemination. In 1991, we imported a nucleus of purebred gear lechero cattle from Brazil and began focusing on genetic improvement, gradually transitioning from beef production to milk production. Today we are entirely dedicated to dairy farming and beef production is no longer part of our operations. This is a brief history of the farm, showing its evolution to the current production system. Here, we have a group of weaned heifers that are pasturing. These heifers are supplemented with two kilograms of concentrate daily and achieve weight gains of 600 to 700 grams per day while grazing on star grass. We raise these heifers until they reach a weight of 250 to 260 kilograms, after which they are moved to another property with hillier terrain. There, they graze on Brachiaria brisantha, Mirandu grass, and Brachiaria decumbens. In this phase, instead of concentrate, we provide protein-enriched mineral supplements. These supplements include minerals, protein, and carbohydrates derived from grain, as well as urea, as a source of non-protein nitrogen to aid digestion of the high-fiber tropical grasses. This feeding strategy ensures excellent performance in this environment. Once these replacement heifers are fully raised, they are moved to a group where they are bred. Two months before calving, they return to this farm to prepare for their first lactation. This is a brief overview of our rearing process for replacement animals. Our approach remains heavily grazing based, but incorporates strategic nutritional supplementation at each stage to improve weight gains and shorten the time to first calving.